Okay, let's start a new project. I already have done my little app icon here, which I can move around. Um, let's go back and let's create a new project. Okay, again, I'm gonna choose horizontal. And let's add a shape in here. Um, now, yours may look a little bit different than the ones I have, depending on what you have downloaded, but these are the ones that come along with what we have. Um, so, you know, just take a look through them because there's some, some very neat things in here. Um, you know, nature, places, look at the buildings that you can see. There's just some, some really cool options. So I'm gonna go to science and let's choose, oh, let's choose this, okay, I'm gonna choose this one. Okay, wow, okay, we've got this sun here. And um, again, I can change the scale if I want, but I'm just gonna leave it as it was, that size. Um, and let's add another one in there. Let's add maybe uh, this one here. Now you can see there's a little cloud beside it, so it just needs to be downloaded. Here it comes. There it is. And again, I can move this however I wish. I've got that. So I've got the, the stylized, I've got the iconic. Um, now I'm gonna introduce you to behaviors. So up here with the arrow, this is behaviors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a behavior and there's all sorts of options, okay? All sorts of things that can happen. I'm actually gonna start off with custom and I'm going to tap on this trigger and say, okay, when I tap, and what am I gonna tap? It already has chosen an object for me. Uh, let's see which one is chosen. Okay, when I tap that, what's gonna happen? I want it to orbit. So I want this to orbit, choose which object. Okay, the green one, you can see it's orbit. What is it gonna, what is it gonna choose? The subject is gonna be the center. So I can choose the subject, choose that one, done. And let's scroll down again. It's duration one second, that's too slow. Let's go, let's go 10 seconds, okay? And it's gonna go around once. So let's just do a, an example. Okay, let's stop that. Maybe I wanted to go faster. Let's go twice around in 10 seconds. You can see that it's gonna go around twice. So this is, uh, I'm just going to press stop. Now, the next thing that I want to do is let's try to take this into AR. So what that means is I'm going to tap this AR button. Now this is going to use the camera, the, the function of the camera. So I'm actually going to have to, if I pinch back, I'm the, it's a giant. I'm on this table here. Let's try to, oh, there we go. Let's see, I'm gonna pinch back a bit. Okay, there it is, they're, they're tiny little planets. I'm gonna, okay, so there it is, it's on the table. Um, you might have difficulty with this if you're, there's very little texture on the surface of the table, the lighting's not very good. I've got some texture here, so it's, it's able to see it. So now, let's take a look. Um, I'm going to, then I'm gonna press the play button at the top. And it says, when I tap this, it's gonna happen, it's gonna work. So let's, um, let's tap this, tap that, and it's gonna orbit. So now I can see that this is now I'm doing this augmented reality and I can move around and see what's happening. So this is a start to look at behaviors. I'm just gonna press stop here, turn off the AR. So here is the, the workspace that I'm working in and I can, I can add extra behavior. So let's just add another behavior. Um, let's have, let's just, again, I'm gonna start with custom and I'm gonna add a, how about when I tap, when I tap this, well, I've gotta add another object actually. Let's go back to here. Um, let's add, I'm looking for, maybe there's a rocket or something. I'm gonna see if there's a rocket in here. Rocket, oh, there's a rocket. I'm gonna use that one. There it is. Let's start this rocket maybe on top of here. Maybe it's a big, I'm gonna turn the scale down a bit. Okay, and move it so it, and again, you see that snap is on, so it's starting on top of there. Um, and there we go. Uh, let's go back to behaviors. Uh, my new behavior, you know what? I'm gonna get really confused with all these behaviors in here. I'm just gonna change this and I'm gonna call this one rocket. 
so I can remember. And I'm gonna call the other one, just tap it again. I'm gonna call this other one maybe Planet Revolve, okay? So return. So let's go to Rocket here. So what's gonna happen? Choose. So I'm gonna say when I tap this planet again, what's gonna happen? I want, I want this um, rocket. What do I want? I'm gonna move scale. So I want choose. I want to choose. I don't want the planet to move. I want that rocket to move. I'm gonna have it move pretty slowly. And where is it gonna move? So it's gonna, it says ease in, ease out. Okay, let's see where it's gonna go. I don't want it to go there. Oops. I want the rocket to go sort of up like this. I want it to launch. Okay, there we go. And I don't want it to, well, you could, you could make it scale so it gets bigger or smaller, but in this case, I'm just gonna have it sort of, sort of take off. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so as that planet goes, it should do that. Let's try that. I'm just gonna play it in here, not in the AR part. So I won't turn on AR, I'm just gonna turn on play here. Oops, let's press stop so we can see it again. Let's try that again. Uh, let's get rid of this behaviors here. There we go. Okay, now I can see a bit better. Let's go play. So when I tap the planet, it should start rotating and the rocket should take off. There we go, the rocket's taking off. It's kind of taking off a bit slowly. Maybe that's natural, but you can see that um, I could go back to behaviors and maybe make that rocket. Um, it's going to Maybe it's going quite, okay, that's not too bad, the, the, the amount of time, but maybe what I need to do is, I need to go to this ease in, ease out, and I need to make it go further up, so it's gonna travel farther up, so sort of like that. There we go. Okay, let's try it again. Press play. When I tap, it's starting to take off, there it goes. And I could have multiple things that it's happening, so I could make it, as it, as it does this, I could actually even have it rotate. So I could change the rotation of the, or actually, let's do this. I'm going to add another sequence in here. I'm gonna have it spin. So it's going to spin, the affected object is the rocket. It's gonna spin, oh no, I want it to spin maybe at about the same, let's, let's you know, it's gonna spin as well. Maybe it's gonna spin a few times as it goes. And here's an important thing. Right now, this is gonna happen first, and then this. There's a gap between these. So if I hold on to here and I move it, it's going to, they're gonna to happen together. Now you see there's no gap there. So now these are gonna to happen together. So let's see what that looks like. Oh, you see how it's spinning and taking off. That looks a lot better. So if I go back to my press play, when I tap the planet, it should this planet should go rotate and the rocket should take off and spin at the same time. There we go. So this is a, these are called behaviors. And you can see that's my behavior. So uh, give it a shot, have some fun behaviors.